Let's solve inequalities using the additive inverse. Problem number one. Step one. Read the inequality. x minus four is less than five. Step two. Determine the inverse operation and apply it to both sides. Remember that the inequality is solved when the variable is alone on one side. To get this variable x all alone, we need to get rid of this minus four. The inverse operation to remove minus four will be to add four, and we need to apply to both sides. Adding four to both sides, on the left-hand side we will have x and then five plus four on the right-hand side gives us nine. This inequality is solved because we have the variable alone on one side of this inequality statement. How did we use the inverse operation? We use the inverse operation add four to both sides of the inequality to have the variable x all alone. Now this inequality is solved. Step three, graph the solutions. So let's read this inequality to understand what all the solutions are to this inequality. Starting with the variable, we will always read solutions are all values. That's the variable. We now read the inequality sign less than, and then we read the number, which is also our starting point for our graph, nine. Solutions are all values less than nine. So to graph this, we're gonna start at nine. We're gonna use an open circle because nine is not included as a solution. Nine is not less than nine. And then we are going to shade in the direction of all the values less than nine. So we will shade in this direction. And this is the graph of all the solutions. How did we graph all the solutions? We use the inequality statement that we solved for. We graph the solutions by graphing the starting point using the correct circle type. In this case, an open circle because nine is not a solution. And then we draw the arrow in the direction of all values less than nine. You are now ready to solve the inequality for the variable n in problem number two.